High school football coach Joe Kennedy lost his job in 2015 after he defied an order to stop praying at the 50-yard line after games. The Ninth Circuit just declined to hear one of his appeals, not surprisingly, given it's the Ninth Circuit. But he says he is planning to take that case all the way to the Supreme Court. Coach Kennedy joins us along with his lawyer, Mike Barry of First Liberty. Nice to see you both. Coach, first to you. Um, were you surprised that the Ninth Circuit refused to hear this? And where does that leave you exactly? I wasn't really surprised. I only go by what I hear from everybody else with the night, you know, that it's, uh, I, it was a long shot to begin with. But yeah. um, where does it leave me is hopefully the Supreme Court, you know, the, somebody will actually hear the case that I have a fair shot with. So, Mike, what's at stake here? I mean, it's not just about one football game or one coach. There's maybe something bigger. Yeah, that's exactly right, Tucker. This this is an outrageous decision that really sets a dangerous precedent for not just coach, but uh, school employees across the country. This decision, if it's not challenged, means that if you're a, a Jewish employee, you can be fired for wearing a yarmulke. If you're a Muslim employee, you can be fired for wearing a head covering. If you're Catholic and you wear a cross necklace, you can be fired. And, you know, people have been asked, everybody from, you know, the president of the United States to, to former NFL stars have been pouring out support. And folks across the country want to know, you know, what, what can be done about this? What can we do? Uh, we encourage people to go to firstliberty.org to, uh, to support Coach and to get behind this petition to get the Supreme Court to take this well, case. Yeah, and I hope, I hope people will do that. So, um, Coach Kennedy, jog our memory here. Who exactly was offended by what you were doing? How did it get to this place? Yeah, it originally started from a compliment. One of the educators saw what we were doing out on the field and paid the uh, school district a compliment, said that what we were doing was awesome. It was good, you know, sportsmanship. So it all came from a compliment. Huh. So, but at, along the way, somebody must have been offended by it or you wouldn't have lost your job, right? Only person that I, I, I realized that was really offended was the district lawyers at that time. And they're the ones that are continuing to, you know, fight against me on this. Yes, yeah, so there's no actual victim here, <laughs> just like the most perverse part. Gentlemen, thank you for coming uh, on, and good luck. I hope you make it all the way to the Supreme Court. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.